From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Craig Flynn, your weather authority. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you on a uh, Saturday night as we look at Downtown Live. Uh, that's State Street, and we had a lot of sunshine today. Now, tomorrow we'll add a few more clouds, but you know what? It's still not going to be too bad, but it was just so nice to see the sun today after what has been a stretch of just dull, dismal, cloudy skies. And it got to 38 today. That's actually four degrees above normal. Felt like the low 30s at times because there was a little bit of a breeze. Now, tomorrow, I think numbers are a little bit cooler. So we're around like 34, 35. Uh, going back through the books, and like I said, we've had almost a month. Almost a month of cloudy skies. We've only had 12 days with sunny or partly sunny skies since the 1st of December. But that's what happens here in Erie this time of the year. So definitely nice to see the sun uh, today. And I promised you brighter days, and I'll deliver for you. So there you go. Sunsets as we go down the road here. So tonight, it's set at uh, 10 after 5. Look at by March. We're uh, after 6. And then uh, by June, uh, 10 of 9. So it's coming. We're on the other side of the solstice, and we're stretching out the daylight. You'll be stretching tomorrow as you wake up uh, with temperatures in the 20s, some clouds uh, drifting through, maybe a little thicker in the morning. 30 right now, Penn State Barron, 27, Union City, mid-20s in Cory, low 30s in Northeast, 27 uh, at last check, Edinburgh, 30 in McCain, 35 right now at Niagara Pier. Down into Crawford County tonight, numbers in the upper 20s for Cambridge Springs. Uh, Meadville and Conneaut Lake, and we're falling back into the mid 20s. Should make your way towards Chandler's Valley, Youngsville, and 25 right now uh, in Scandia. All right, let's uh, talk about what's going on, and it's just a whole lot of nothing. We'll uh, go in a little closer, and again, maybe some thicker clouds trying to spill in as we go through the overnight tonight. So we'll watch uh, again a few thicker clouds fill in. Uh, as we go uh, through the night, and some of those will be around into tomorrow morning, but they should break up at least a little bit for the afternoon. Wanted to quickly uh, take a look at the long range projections here. So, this is for late January, uh, maybe a, a seven to 10 day cold snap as we get towards the end of the month, as we get a chunk of some Arctic air that looks like it will dislodge and move over the Finger Lakes. Uh, or I should say the Great Lakes. You can throw the Finger Lakes in there too. Uh, old market. Uh, but the Great Lakes and uh, here for us in Erie as we get towards the end of um, uh, January. It looks like winter might make a return. Until then though, nothing. Jet pinpoint for the lakeshore on Sunday expects mostly cloudy to partly sunny. 31 to 35, areas south of I-90 Clouds early, then some sun for the afternoon, highs 30 to 35. So it's cold, but you know what? It's seasonably cold. It's where it's supposed to be. Clouds to some sun, Chautauqua, Allegheny region. Highs here 29 to 33. All right, seven-day forecast. So again, very calm weather pattern. But Mother Nature does look like it'll wake up a little bit here as we go towards Friday, Saturday. A couple of cold fronts will be coming through. It'll turn windy, colder. Uh, with some lake snow and snow showers developing Friday and then another cold front Saturday with more lake snow likely continuing uh, into next weekend. But until then, we're bored. There's nothing going on. Pretty seasonable, temperatures 30s, clouds, intervals of sun. Sometimes nothing going on is a good thing. Yeah, but uh, this time next weekend uh, could be a little... Could be a little uh, tricky. Yeah, bring out those winter boots. Craig, thank you very much. Yeah. Coming up on Jet 24 